Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So, Terrican are continuing the series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Project, and over the weekend, a public core for Toki came out, and you can all play it on your Mr. FPJ today. And if you're not familiar with Toki, it was released in 1989 by the Tad Corporation, not a name you're going to hear very often, and it is a hard as nails 2D action platformer that's basically synonymous with 80s arcade gaming. This is such a charming and weird game, and you are going to die a ton. But it's fun that it's here on Mr. FPJ, and it is a very well known game for being from an arcade manufacturer that wasn't really well known. Toki is one of those games you either love it or you hate it. It's charming, it's weird, it's got a great sense of humor, and it has a checkpoint system which a lot of arcade games in the late 80s to early 90s had. What that means is when you die you don't just respawn from where you died from, there's a checkpoint system involved which means that you can totally get stuck in this game and never actually see the ending. Some people absolutely love that, some people hate it, and some people are in between, but we're talking ghouls and ghosts level of hard in my opinion to see the end of Toki. Now the fun part is this was developed by Solal, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, and they are a new developer to the Mr. FPJ side of things and this is their first core. And it's always great to see a new name getting involved in FPJ core development. The project definitely needs more people so seeing somebody new is a breath of fresh air. And their initial work here on Toki is absolutely outstanding. Now I don't have a photographic memory of this game whatsoever, but from what I remember the last time I played it like five six or years ago in an arcade this seems to be highly accurate to what toki should be and i just love the graphics and the overall vibe of this game you are a gigantic ape that's been transformed from a human by a wizard and you need to fight through the entire world to try to rescue what i assume is your girlfriend and get her back classic arcade story for sure and you'll see here there's this gigantic bunny pot that when you collect that you get shoes a lot of this game makes absolutely no sense but that is why it is so amusing using a gigantic weight to shoot Toki up into the air is just so charming and so weird. You can't help but fall in love with this game just based upon how weird it is alone. But like I said, Toki does not hold any punches whatsoever. This is going to kill you time and time again. This is a memorization pattern game. You need to be aware where all the enemies are, how they move, and how to navigate through the world or else you are going to get absolutely decimated and this game is going to steal your virtual quarters time and time again. But I love that these monkeys here basically act like flea men from Castlevania just in monkey format. You'll see there we're through the first boss. Stage 1 definitely goes a little easier on you. And the other reason I tie this to Ghouls and Ghosts is this map level feels like it's completely taken from that game as an homage, not as a ripoff, but it always reminds me of the Ghouls and Ghosts franchise. Now this is when the game really starts to test your patience and ability to navigate around. You have this monkey here shooting cannons out of a cannonball and you need to figure out the timing and how high to jump without jumping too high or else you will take a death like you saw there and big thanks to Andy D for helping with some of the Toki captures. He definitely had a hard time and I knew he was going to. But as we get further into the game, the performance here on Mr. FPJ is just spectacular. The controls are correct, the graphics are there, all the music sounds good. For somebody's first FPJ core, they absolutely nailed it. They hit a home run out of the gate, and I can't wait to see the next core this developer brings to us because they are doing an excellent job and they picked a really fun game as well. Because there's so many other arcade games out there that not everyone knows for all of the Capcom CPS 1 and 2 stuff and all of the other Konami cores we've been getting, there's a company like Tad Corporation making a game like Toki that some people remember but isn't going to be on the minds of absolutely everyone. And every single core is always welcome on Mr. and it's so fun to have Toki here. It does change up its gameplay, you get swimming levels, you get jumping levels, it basically does a good job of giving you an overall sense of flow, pun very much intended because we are in water, and really making you want to see what comes next. And this is not a common arcade cabinet either, so having it on FPGA is just so much fun. I love when projects like this come out from new developers, it shows that more people are getting into Mr. and bringing us new experiences. And I will say on the sound front, Toki's always had a great soundtrack, and the sound quality coming across on Mr. seems perfect to my ears, so go ahead and listen, I'll be right back with some more Toki. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
sounds good to my ear and the reverb sounds great as well but I don't own an original arcade PCB of this it's just nothing that's ever come into my collection but I checked against MAME and they sounded near identical to me and don't forget MAME is a great project it's just a different way to achieve a similar result and I love this game sense of humor as well that's basically just a gigantic cyclops Michelin tire man floating around in the sky I have absolutely no idea what it's supposed to be but the character design in Toki makes you laugh and also wonder what exactly is going on in the game world in and of itself and that is why it's so much fun to have something like this come over to Mr. FPJ but leave me a comment down below and you tell me have you ever played Toki before did you know it existed or is this the first time hearing about it because this is still a 1989 release I was definitely alive but I probably wasn't old enough to even be able to control Toki at that point in time so this is something I found out about later when I was playing arcade games you know 15 20 years ago in emulation just seeing stuff around but if you grew up with this one maybe you have a special place in your heart for it so do give me that story down below I always love hearing about your relationship to the games as well because I'm sure the core developer must have had some relationship with Toki and their own personal life to want to make a core for this because most people like making cores for things they remember and enjoyed back in the day but as we move on you'll see here Toki now has a football helmet you can get different power-ups in the game and watching a gigantic hunchback ape run around with a football helmet on his head is just so weird but this game has a sense of humor and a sense of charm that you cannot deny and it is that fun B tier goodness everyone knows and loves because don't forget not every single arcade game was one of those best games ever made a lot of things are more like Toki which were competent fun games that were there they came and went and some people remember them but this isn't going to raise to the same level as something like Strider from Capcom and you'll see we're taking a lot more deaths now this is the point in time in which Toki just becomes a little bit cruel the checkpoint system is going to kick you back and if you can't get through a section you're not going to be able to see the end of this game you need to memorize all of the enemy patterns because they basically function on the same pattern every time you restart every once in a while the game will give you a little bit of a bonus and kill the first couple enemies in front of you they will not spawn but in an area like this you just get so tied up that you need to understand every Every single pattern when to move forward when to hold back when to attack enemies and when to basically try to avoid them because you have your projectiles but you can also jump on enemies as well to do damage there is a lot of strategy in Toki and once you finally figure it out you will be very good at the game but do be aware Toki's hitbox is basically the entire monkey. Nothing is going to even graze past him and not kill him. But you'll see there, was able to jump off a shell and then that flame attack killed us instead. This game could definitely give you some cheap deaths, but it's so much fun to play it. And one more taste of the soundtrack because I do love how charming it is. And I'll be back with a touch more Toki. <laughs> Just a super fun soundtrack and if you're wondering what this boss sprite is right here I have absolutely no idea I'm assuming it's a stomach because it throws out letters that spell the word burp but it could be a kidney it could be a liver it could be something completely different leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think but I assume that's somebody's stomach and it is burping at you and that is the sense of humor that Toki has it's a super fun platformer that is very weird charming and difficult all at the same time and it's from a new developer to the Mr. FPJ side of things and that's the real celebration here not just that we got a new core and not that it's for a fun game like Toki but that somebody new is in the fold and that's what we need on the Mr. FPGA side of things and an FPGA development in general more people enjoying the hardware making cores and giving it their all to have all of these arcade games available for everyone to play because even if Toki is not your favorite game there's a lot of fun to be had here and seeing another core on Mr's always cause for celebration and honestly now that I played a little bit more Toki I am compelled to see the credit scroll because I've never actually seen the end of this game I played it a few times but I usually get stuck right around this area so I'm definitely going to be playing more Toki but short of that the core is available go play it leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think and I'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>